I know that ends. So about them choices. I am hoping that in dialogue we get to input some of the choices, either upon entering a scene, choices, well drinker, select your well drinker. Please select your well drinker before entering this cutscene. Or within the dialogue, you know, I heard the, in the Inquisitor drank from the well, I heard you drank from the well, you know, something like that. While it's not ideal because it kind of breaks the immersion, it would be better than not having at all, you know? And so then re responses that follow that would reflect that. With Bioware being all about symbolism, especially with the numbers 7 and 9 for Rook and Solus, I'll link to that video, you'd think there'd be at least seven or nine choices to input for Dragon Age The Veil Guard, which would make sense to me. It would cover the essentials. So these are the choices with their branching outs that I feel would have been the most beneficial to include. So we're going up to nine choices here. So the three that are already there, the Dark Ritual, because Morgan, with the option to say who the father is, maybe with the option to input the father's fate, which would incorporate the Fade choice from Inquisition. So several options there in one choice. Ferelden's ruler, because what affects Northern Thedas as in Risen Gods and Veil torn down, affects Southern Thedas too. Fenris's fate for sure, though it's possible he might be retconned. So kind of like Leliana was retconned for Dragon Age Inquisition, maybe Zevran and Fenris are retconned. And no matter what happened in Origins and Dragon Age 2, they're there in the game. I would forgive it to have them there in the game. The Well Drinker, because I feel Solus could control whoever drank from the well, unless there was a logical explanation as to why that matters little. The Grey Warden's fate, with the option of selecting who led the Wardens either to exile or to waste hop, and selecting who was left in the fate to combine those choices together. So who did you choose? Blah, blah, blah. And who was the other choice alongside them, which encompasses several choices together and Divine Victoria for our devout Andrastians in the Enderfells. Darling, you're the Inquisitor and I'm the Divine. What maker-fearing soul would refuse us anything? With the three that are already there, that would be the nine choices. Of course that leaves who is the hero and who did they romance and who is Hawk and who did they romance. Perhaps we'd forego some choices and combine a few choices, like who is the ruler and what was their relationship with the hero of Ferelden, who is the hero, details about the hero, who was the other person in the, in the Fade, who led the death, so of Hawk, who was your Hawk, you know, so we could incorporate branches of choices within nine base choices. I don't know how that would be coded, but that would be how I would put it in some sort of graph. And that would cover a lot of the essentials. My hope lies in the dialogue options, being able to input choices. I know I'm going to enjoy the game for what it is. For the choices, I'm going to judge when I play the game. When I have played enough of the game or the full game, I will judge whether this decision made sense. If I feel that something was missing in Dragon Age The Veil Guard, or if the story felt complete despite this. But let me know your thoughts in the comments, and uh, I'll see you all soon. Maseranas.